Hi, everybody. Happy Sunday. Praise Jesus. It is Sunday, and tomorrow I start my new job. Um, one more weekend, I will do ride share. And in fact, only Lyft. I'm done with Uber completely forever. Um, but what I want to talk about today is today was a day of dirty trust. And I'm going to name this video that after Steve Furtick and his Sunday morning service this morning. Straight out of 1 Saul 27, or 1 Samuel 27, 1. See, today I was hoping to pay my cell phone bill in full so that I could get that behind me. And I wouldn't have to worry about it. Buy a few groceries, gas in my car, until I could drive next weekend, which will be my last weekend. Or at least until I get a paycheck from my new job starting tomorrow. And move on with my life. But that did not happen. A series of events happened today that prevented that from happening. To be quite honest. When it was all said and done, I was mad. I was upset. Lyft was used by the devil today. Lyft is a, a devil lap. I swear that they are devil worshippers. I do. And if you're a devil worshiper, I'm going to pray for you. Because you believe in the wrong God. Because Satan is not a God. He's a fallen angel. But my faith was weak today. Very weak. So pride set in. Fear set in. A certain amount of depression, and I was mad. I, I, I've used more language today than I have, or actually in the last two days, than I have in the last three months. I was mad at God because He knew my needs. But there was a learning lesson in that, and there really was. I needed to hear that message. From Steve Fer uh, Stephen Furtick today, with Elevation Church. Um, see, faith or trust in God is not a pretty thing when you are in a very specific need. When you need the hand of God in your life, and I was believing for something, and it, it didn't come through, but. The scripture I'm about to read you will open your eyes and allow you to see what I've seen. But David thought to himself, One of these days I will be destroyed by the hand of Saul. The best thing I can do is escape to the land of the Philistines. Then Saul will give up searching for me anywhere in Israel and I will be, and I will slip out of his hands. See, there's a there, there's a whole couple messages in that verse alone. David thought that means he thought it more than once, like I did. I thought my enemies would destroy me, meaning I couldn't pay my bills. But wait a minute. The next best thing I can do. Is one, go to my enemy's land and hide out for a while until I'm forgot about. The next best thing I can do is use a feature with Cricket and I can make my cell phone bill in two payments. That's the next best thing that I can do. Then I can drive next weekend, make up the difference, and be done with it once and for all once I get my first paycheck with my new company. But isn't it something that when you rely on your enemies for your income, ride share. Ride share literally is the enemy of the driver. In every form and fashion. They are not your friends. They are robbers, stealers, and thieves. Literally. I'm not going to go into what happened today. Twice. 
But no, actually, more than that. Because I saw something that what Lyft does. And I'm going to let God deal with that. Because I put out on Twitter that Lyft needs to be federally investigated for what they do. Because they're crooks. And I'm believing that the right eyes will see that. Federally investigate Lyft and shut the app. Uber isn't even that bad. And that's saying something. Uber isn't Uber doesn't even do that. Lyft does. Lyft needs to be federally investigated, fined, and shut down. I'm going to say it once. I'll say it twice. I'll say it three times. For what I saw today. If y'all saw what I saw, y'all would agree. They're thieves. But I digress. When you have to trust in your enemies for your income. Yeah. You have to hide out in their land until you're forgot about. But tomorrow is a new day. Tomorrow my life changes. So the enemy, enemy has come against me hard and fast today. Hoping I would give up on God. But then God led me to that message. That verse. That hope. See like Paul. Saul. Saul converted to Paul. Because God changed his name. I am a prisoner of Jesus Christ. Meaning no matter how hard I fight. How hard. Hard I have disbel or how much I've disbelief dis disbelief I have, how much I cuss, how much I rant, how much I rave. John fifteen sixteen says, Robert, I chose you. You did not choose me. You are chosen to bear fruit. And then I have this message right here. I thought. I was going to make X amount of money today. But surely my enemies will kill me, my bills. But the next best thing I can do is bridge pay on cricket. I will forget, I will hide, and they will forget about me, meaning next weekend will be my last weekend to ever do ride share ever again. Something else too. There's a reason why I don't trust in people. God's taught me to trust in Him. God revealed to me the other day, you have trust issues, Robert. You have serious trust issues. But I'm working a good thing in you. I'm pruning you to trust me. I can't trust in those that are closest to me. I asked to borrow some money and Unfortunately, their situ situations won't allow it to happen. I get it. But I don't ask unless I absolutely have to. I'll never do it again. That much I can promise you. But it was a good thing. It really was. God revealed something to me that I'm not going to share. Um, I'll leave it at that. But this is a testimony that I want y'all to hear. Somebody needed to hear that's struggling with God. It's okay to get mad. He understands. It's okay to get frustrated. He understands. It's okay to cuss, claw, to foam at the mouth, act like you're crazy. He understands. But don't give up. Satan wants you to give up. But God's not going to give up on you. As long as you in your heart don't give up on him. And he knows my heart. I was speaking out of the flesh today. Out of my circumstance. And he knows us. Y'all be blessed today. And I hope this delivers somebody out there that needed to hear a message of hope. Thank you.